I am of the belief that we have two crises looming in front of us in the very near future. And that one is the collapse of our social security system. And number two is that of our mounting $36 trillion debt. But I think there is a way to solve these problems when you enter in the third part of that equation, and that is the uh, revolution of artificial intelligence and machine learning, and the fact that we are going to, as a result of those two things, turn the nation around from uh, inflation to deflation. And as a result of that, if we will invest in artificial intelligence, machine learning, and uh, innovation, we will grow our nation as it has never been before. If you'll take those three things and put them together, we can solve the first two problems. Let me first of all explain to you the crisis of the collapse of Social Security. Under the current system, uh, by 2034, it will collapse because the funds coming in will only be able to pay 80% of the funds going out, and that 80% will decrease year after year as the baby boomers continue to age, and then as the Generation X reaches uh, retirement age, it even gets worse, and so 80% eventually gets down to zero. That's a crisis. And we know it, so we need to change it. The next thing is how my proposal. My proposal is that we invest our Social Security funds in our nation, not in bonds or not, excuse me, not, not in treasuries, but instead in our nation. We invest our Social Security funds into the growth of our nation that is going to happen as a result of artificial and uh, intelligence and machine learning and quantum computing. And we actually fund that growth with the biggest expenditure that is that takes place anywhere in the world, and that is our social security funds. So we invest the money that is being put into those funds, over $1.2 trillion a year, to, to stimulate the growth in the United States, and thus we, we push the returns on our Social Security higher and higher. Let's look at it under two scenarios. And I want you to understand, I did this with the use of artificial intelligence. First, we invest the S&P 500. First thing we do is we remove the cap on the amount of money you can earn uh, and, and then uh, not pay Social Security. It's currently at uh, $160 some thousand dollars. We remove that cap. So whatever you make, you pay social pay into the Social Security system, and that will increase the funds coming into the Social Security system by some 30 to 40 percent. That being done, and then investing those funds in the Social Security or into the S&P 500, which has had had a, a return of 9.8% over the last 20 years, as opposed into treasuries, which is going to go down to less than half of that in the very near future. So we, we thus end up, uh, the annual Social Security contributions become $1.485 trillion. The annual payout is 1.24. The annual fund earnings at 9.8% are $277 billion. That gives us an annual surplus of $522 trillion or billion. Based on that, we will pay off the national debt in 68 years. Okay? That's a no-brainer as far as I'm concerned. Now let's say we get a more, little bit more aggressive and we say that aggressive AI driven growth will actually give us a 25% annual rate of return. Is that possible? I told you in the past, if over the last 20 years you had invested in Apple, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, you would have achieved roughly a 35% 
annual average rate of return. So I'm gearing that down by 10% and saying with some aggressive investment, we can get a 25% return. So our annual Social Security um, collections, again, would be uh, $1 billion Our annual payments, again, would be $1 trillion point two four, but our annual earnings would go up from two hundred and seventy seven billion to seven hundred and seven point five billion. So our surplus would go up from five hundred and twenty two billion to nine hundred and thirty five billion and we'd pay off the national debt and have a functional social security system in thirty seven years. So all we're doing is investing in our own nation. We're not investing in treasuries, which are uh, loans to other nations like China. We're actually investing in ourselves. And there is no other investment better than in ourselves. And I think we need to, as a nation, as a collective, tell our senators, our representatives, whoever our president is going to be, we want to invest in our nation. We want to invest in AI, in, in generative AI, in, in quantum computing. We want to invest in the companies that are going to make our nation the superpower it has been, but is losing track of. And it's because we're not investing in ourselves. Now, how can you make a difference in that? I explained this to several people at breakfast this morning. And one lady spoke up and said, I wish the nation knew this. Kerry, you need to share this. Kerry can share it with his followers, but his followers have to then get this document that I have put together and get a copy of it and send it to your senators, send it to your representatives, send it to whoever your presidential candidate is, and then send it to everybody on your email list, post it on e- on Facebook, on every social media, and let's start a movement. Let's tell our representatives, they are our representatives, We've got to stop this and we've got to invest in ourselves. That's where the future lies. And the future is bright and plentiful if we invest in ourselves and if we tax fairly. If you're making $2 million, I know a guy who's making $76 million a year and he only contributes to Social Security on the $146,000. That has to stop. And there's only one way it can stop. If you will get a copy of this, go into the description, click the link, get a copy, print 25,000 copies, and send it to everyone you know, particularly those people that represent you in Washington, D.C., and say, this is a crisis. It can be solved. And if it isn't, it's on your back. And I will never vote for you again. Solve the crisis. Here's the solution. Is it perfect? No. But there are minds out there who are brighter, obviously, than the people in Washington, D.C., who can take care of this and get it done and make our nation the superpower it used to be. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor in Birmingham, Alabama. And I see the light. But it can't be done without your help. You need to share this video with everybody you know. And you need to get a buttload copies of this white paper and spread it across the nation. And until we stand up and tell our representatives, no, this has to change. These, these two things are crises. And you can't keep kicking the can down the road. The third thing that needs to be done is financial literacy. We need to educate our population on how to take part and share in the massive growth that is going to occur over the next 10, 15 years. If they will participate, then we can identify or we can address 
the social programs. That's what my next white paper will be a part. And if you want to be a part of this, join the tribe. Get on the bus.